Mr. Noel Gordine, how's it feel to definitely, you know, step into Huntsville and make it to the next level? Tell me what's up. Well, it definitely feels like I'm home. You know, uh, I, I came back here and I, I just recently made the, the uh, permanent move here because my folks are here now. And, you know, just to be down here with him and with them and, and a lot of my family is here and in Mississippi as well. So uh, it definitely feels like home and it's great to come back and be able to perform here, uh, especially for a great person as, as uh, Tony Terrell in her fifth and, you know, fifth year being here. So uh, it's, it's just a great event uh, and it, it just feels good to be able to do what I love doing, you know. So uh, here I am and, and I'm, uh, I'm going to get up on stage tonight and try to tear it down. Okay. So tell me about the transition from, because you've been singing for a long time, right? So tell me how the truth is. Is it very hard to step into the industry right now? Explain that for our audience. It is tough. It is tough uh, because there's, there's so much happening. I mean, you have the internet, the viral thing is from the hop happening right now. So there's, there's a overabundance of, of music and material out there. So you really have to stand out. You know, uh, I, mean, there's, I mean, in every genre. There's a lot happening, so it is very tough, but, you know, if you love it and you, you love what you're doing, it's all about what you put into it, because there's always, always somebody that's going to be awake trying to figure out this new, you know, uh, formula to get into the industry and, and make themselves known or stand out, so it is very tough, but it's all worthwhile if you love doing it. Okay. Words of wisdom. A lot of artists are actually, you know, um, imitating you, watching you, um, get a chance to try to be like you. What type of words of wisdom or words of success or formula would you give him or her actually watching this interview right now? Well, I, I would just say be true to yourself and be true to, to what you stand for as far as musically uh, or in, in the entertainment business and on a whole. Uh, it's all about the, uh, for me, I can speak for me, it's all about the integrity of my music. You know, it's, uh, it's very easy in this industry as it is right now to conform, you know, but it, it takes a, a truly genuine and special person to stick to their guns and really go out and do what they love to do uh, as far as style-wise and, you know, uh, uh, lyrically myself, I, I always like to be, you know, respectful and, and uh, it's always conscious of who's listening to my music, so, you know, it's always from the two-year-old up to your great-grandmammy and pappy, so that's very important to me, always, you always have to maintain your uh, an integrity level. So, uh, you know, that, that's what it is for me. Surround yourself with good, positive people that uh, take this as seriously as you do. And uh, you should be fine. Okay. Are we going to see any kind of upcoming movies pretty soon? Hopefully maybe do some producing, maybe some, you know, plays. I know you're working on a couple of things right now. Right. Any type of new projects you're working on right now, we can definitely be looking forward to? I mean, everything that I'm working on is it's in the talks right now. I'm trying to work it up. Um, I am trying to put together, I know I've met a couple of people along the way here in the industry, so I have some uh, influential friends that I'm trying to bring to town and try to get something going. So that's one of the things I could talk about. But uh, other than that, it's a lot of uh, non-profit things that I'm doing for like, uh, you know, um, domestic violence and uh, cancer survivors, and I'm doing an uh, Alzheimer's event uh, in Boston uh, at the end of this week. So, you know, a lot of that stuff is, is, is important to me. So, um, you know, I, I got a lot of things coming up. I'd love to get in movies and acting. I've been taking act, acting lessons, and I have in the past as well. So, you know, I'm, I'm just with, willing to uh, get into every aspect of the entertainment business. That's, that's what it's all about. Music from 1780s, 90s up into now. How has music changed and how has your music been um, more of the neo so and been much more popular up into the now range now? I mean, I, I'd say that how music has changed from the 70s, 80s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. Is, uh, uh, I think there was a lot more, like we just talked about, integrity in the music. Uh, back then, you know, a lot of it was a lot more respectful. And they were they were consciously going in and just making music from the soul. They were, they were making music that touched people's hearts, you know, in, in such a way that we're still listening to it today, you know, 30, 40 years later. So that's important. And I think a lot of that integrity has left, you know, the industry on the whole. So uh, artists like myself and Anthony David here tonight and, and uh, you know, a lot of the other artists in our genre is trying to continue that, you know, continue that legacy. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of music out there right now that is getting so much limelight that is, you know, lyrically speaking, it's very condescending towards people, towards women, uh, you know, very disrespectful. So, you know, we have to keep this music alive. It, it, it's a movement. It's going to it's gonna start. Uh, it can't be held by one artist, not by one, uh, you know, uh, fan. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a, a lot of us to band together and keep this music alive because it's so very important. Describe the music beautiful. You know, that, that, that's the record charge, beautiful right? was just something that myself and Ryan Toby, the genius of a writer, we came together and we just 
thought that the industry needed something uh, to step out on the ledge and say, you know, our women deserve that good old fashioned respect. We need to get back to that. Because just like I said a couple minutes ago, there's so much music out there, lyrically speaking, it's just condescending and disrespectful uh, to women. You know, I love my sisters, but I'm talking about all women. You know, uh, we got to get back to that good old fashioned respect, and that's what it's about, man. So that's what Beautiful was about. And, uh, you know, but. Uh, Gauging by the reception that it's gotten, you know, I think people want to listen to something different. So, you know, I, I think we did really good with that, and I'm so happy that the, that the project has come out the way we envisioned. If we did a movie about you, what would the title of the movie be, and who would it be in the major? Who would be in the major characters in the movie? Uh, I'd have to say it would probably be called Family, because uh, I'm, I'm so very family oriented, and everything that I am, and I know. Uh, and I want to be, it comes from my family, you know, so that's what it would probably stem from, you know, uh, stems from the family, so it's, uh, who would, it would be starring me, you, you say? I don't know, I'd probably have to do it myself, you know what I'm saying, I'd find a time capsule and uh, go back in time to play myself as a kid, but uh, now nah, there's so many talented actors out there, man, I, I, it's hard to even, uh, I, I can't even, it's, it's hard to even say, man. Like, I'd have to, you have to give me a second on that. I'll probably uh, email you and let you know what I thought about that one. <laughs> okay, all right, wonderful. A lot of people try to compare you to maybe like Jaheem, um, Raheem Devon, and many more others like that. How do you feel about, you know, um, those comparisons? It feels great. I mean, those are those highly talented artists. And, uh, you know, I know Jaheem, and uh, actually a lot of people thought that Jaheem was the one singing the river. And uh, we'd see each other on the road, he'd be like, yo, no, everybody think that's me on the river. So, you know, it, I mean, to be compared to anybody uh, on that level is just a great feeling. Uh, you know, that's the reason why I do what I do, is to get better every day, uh, to learn from all these artists, like the artists you just named, Raheem Devon, Jaheem, you know, Anthony Hamilton, uh, Anthony David. Uh, there's, there's a lot of so very good artists and they're so talented. So, you know, to be mentioned in the same breath is it's just uh, extraordinary. What's your website and um, what type of more information is definitely going to get a chance to go to your website for more information? Well, my website is on noelgordinemusic.com or noelgordine.com. Uh, you can log on there. My dates are up, posted, where I'm going to be around the country. Uh, we have a couple things in the works as far as tours. Uh, can't say the names yet, but I'm up. You know, it's in the works. Uh, I have a lot of spot dates coming up, so you can check that on my website. And, you know, I'm on Facebook and Twitter as well, so. Y'all hit me and it will be me getting back to you because I, I, I like to get in touch with my fans firsthand. So it's Noel Gordine, N-O-E-L-G-O-U-R-D-I-N on Facebook as well as Twitter. So hit me up.